Oh, what are you reading? I don't know, it's kind of like the best book I've ever read. It's actually ASAP Science Answers to the World's Reader's Questions Most Persistent Room with an Unexplained Phenomenon. What? Where do I get that? You can pre-order it at asapscience.com slash book. Sweet! So there are a lot of sick remedies that people swear by. In fact, Mitch is sick right now and he's been ingesting things left, right, and center. So it got us wondering, which of these actually work? So we gathered as much scientific information and research as possible to debunk some of the more popular sick myths and remedies so you can stop wasting your time and get better more quickly. Myth number one, avoid dairy. No, Mitch, no dairy! The myth states that dairy produces more mucus, but in fact, there's no real medical basis for this. In fact, frozen dairy products can help soothe your throat and provide some extra calories when you don't feel like eating, which is so good. Myth number two, you lose most of your heat from your head, so you should always be wearing a hat. <coughs> Some people say you lose 40 to 45% of the heat in your body from your head, but this is honestly pretty much nonsense. Of course, wearing a hat will keep you warmer, but if this myth were true, you'd be just as cold going outside without a hat as you would without your pants. What is true is that your face, head, and chest are actually more sensitive to changes in temperature, which makes them feel colder. But overall, your head represents around 10% of your body's surface area, and as a result, around 10% of your body heat leaves through your head. Myth number three, you're more contagious before you show symptoms. Oh my god, did you see this? It's so funny! <laughs> oh. It is true that once you contract the virus, you are contagious, whether or not you're showing symptoms. But you're at your most contagious around two to four days after exposure, and this is usually when you're feeling the sickest. Think about it, when the virus has multiplied as much as it can, it's when you'll feel the sickest, and also when it has the highest chance of spreading. As a result, your contagiousness will start out low and then slowly hit a peak and then start to taper away as your body fights off the virus and your symptoms go away. Myth number four, don't exercise. You should only be resting. I can't go to the gym. I'm sick. I need a rest. It's true that rest is really important when you're sick, and overexerting yourself with intense workouts can actually weaken your immune system, but moderate exercise may actually make you feel a lot better. In studies on people with colds, while the recovery time didn't actually change, people who exercised for 30 minutes a day, five days a week, actually felt a lot better in the afternoons and evenings compared to those who just rested all day. Myth number five, cover your mouth with your hands when you cough or sneeze. <laughs> hey! It may seem polite to cover your mouth with your hands, but please stop. Cold viruses readily spread through your nasal fluid and can transfer from your hands in a fraction of a second. Not to mention you're touching doorknobs, railings, subway poles, laptops, and even your phone. So please cough or sneeze into your elbow to avoid spreading germs and wash your hands, people. Myth number six, being cold can give you a cold. Okay, I'm ready to go outside. Okay, so just being cold can't get you sick. There has to be viruses around, and if there aren't any viruses, the temperature isn't gonna affect that at all. But there is one caveat, and that is that cold temperatures can actually increase the risk when there are pathogens around. We actually did a whole video on ASAP Science about this, so you should check it out. So, those were some sick myths that we just debunked, but we're curious, what exactly do you guys do when you're sick to make yourselves feel better? Let us know in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to get your ASAP Science book, because it's almost out. You can go to asapscience.com book. We're so pumped for you to read it and hear what you think about it, and in the meantime, we will see you next time. Peace! Peace. Ha, ha, ha.